Think about this. If somebody called you right now to tour with the band and they, they wanted to see some stuff from you, what would you give them? Okay, so next question we have says, thank you for making this video. I don't know if I missed it earlier, but how can musicians play in touring bands for major artists, both live studio sessions, live in studio session horns, etc. Okay, great question, man. Great question. Uh, so one of the ways that a lot of musicians tour and this, this is a really good thing. And it's sort of a not so good thing at the same time. It's sort of a double edged sword. As you know, the professional music industry, touring musicians and stuff like that, all of the same stuff happens in that industry that happens in the regular sort of world where we gigging artists play at clubs and stuff like that. All of that stuff happens through word of mouth. That's just the way it works. Like somebody, you know, somebody that knows somebody. So like how many times have you needed a substitute, you know, horn player or drummer or something for your band or for a gig or something like that? And what did you do? You called up somebody that you knew and say, hey, man, do you know that somebody that can play here for this gig on Friday night, you know, eight to 10 or eight to 12 or whatever the case may be. That's the same way it works in the professional industry with these markets. And unfortunately, here's the not so good part about it. Unfortunately, it's sort of a tight niche crowd up there. Like most of the people who play in the industry are across the board. Like you have a lot of gospel drummers that are playing on the professional R and B stuff with the professional R and B cats. Same thing with keyboard players and horn players like this. They, they get into that circle and then, they have their own sort of niche up there, right? That's just the way, but that's the so unfortunate part about it. But here's the great part about it. It's not really that difficult to become part of the circle. It's really not. And it happens, believe it or not, it happens through all of the stuff that I've been talking about here today. It talks about that content, putting out that valuable content where people are able to see you, see what you do and you offer value. So what, think about this, what's gonna happen I don't know. Uh, how do you pronounce your name? I hope I'm saying it. Ich, Ike, Ikechi? I don't know how. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Think about this. If somebody called you right now to tour with the band and they, they wanted to see some stuff from you, what would you give them? That's that's the question. What would you would you have a press kit? Would you have some professional video to show them? Would you have something that you put out where you played your horn licks and you've shown your value where you can knock out this gig when they call you? Do you have anything out like that? If you don't, that's probably part of the, or at least that's one of the things that you can do to kind of help you get ready to be in that sort of vein. Professional musicians have this kind of stuff, guys. It's just the way that it works. So how do you become a touring artist or a touring band with, you know, touring musicians and session musicians and stuff like that? You get integrated with this. So some of the things that you can do on the ground is you know, join Facebook groups that have these session musicians in them, join social media clubs and stuff that have these sort of musicians in it. ask them questions, be consistent. When we just talked about consistency being king, be consistent with all of this stuff so that, you know, people can consistently hear and see you. So guess what? There's, there's been so many calls guys that I've gotten for gigs where somebody has just said, um, Hey man, I got your number from such and such. Some like some random person just showed up in my inbox. Hey, got your number from such and such. Saw one of your videos you posted a year ago and was wondering if you were available to do this gig. It's it's this Saturday and it pays $5,000. I'm not kidding. I, like that's not an exaggeration. The, that kind of thing has happened to me several times before. I'm not, I wish I was joking. That is not a joke. That kind of stuff. And it comes through again, just that. Now for me, uh, to be fair, it's something that I've been doing for a long period of time. The stuff that I'm talking to you about here and putting out content. If you search my Facebook page, I was doing live video when the, when Facebook started doing live video. I kid you not. I think the first week that it showed up on my phone, like the, it showed up on the app where you could go live. I think I did a live concert from right here in my bedroom that same week. I'm not. It was either the same week or the week after. So again, guys, this is something that I've been doing a long period of time. So. It's, it's something that's not going to come again overnight. I want to paint this picture to you where it's going to be like this. Oh, you do these things and then these things will happen. It's not going to happen like that. Most of the, most of the time it's going to happen through just, just that series of being consistent. So again, I don't want to harp on that too much. I hope that answers your question.